In this segment of What's New in DAC, we're going to cover enhancements made to the billing module, that part of the system. Uh, let's talk about special billing charges, the ability to exclude a category, which is a feature that was requested. So let's look at how that works. So if we go over to the billing system and we get to special billing charges, what's been added is the ability to exclude a category. So a new option appears here where you can exclude a category, for instance, cigarettes. So if you want to levy a minimum order charge, but you don't want to include cigarettes in that order total, uh, since that's such a low profit uh, category for most people, this is a way to exclude a particular category. Here we're saying, uh, you know, they must have a minimum order of at least $500 uh, or anything that's less than $500, we're going to levy a minimum order charge using special billing charge, but we're not going to include cigarette totals in that uh, in that value when we compute that. That's that particular option. If we go over to, um, there's also a place now that we're tracking minimum order charge override. So let's look at that. And that would be from the main menu. Let's go over here to my little lasso here. From the main menu, one, then a two for product related, then a 21, then a five, then you press F1 to get to customer. And I believe that field is EWST as is shown in the information there. So there, this customer is now exempted from minimum order charge. That change was made on September 2nd by me at the, that particular time. So just another way to track in there. Let's look and see what other options we have here that have been added. Uh, work with orders. There is a state restrictor. So let's look at that. We'll jump back to the main menu. Go to work with orders. And you'll notice this is a new widescreen format. So there's some additional stuff in here, which is, is covered in another PTF. But uh, here's your state field um, to restrict by. So the ST short for state. Uh, you'll also notice on this new widescreen format that you can see um, the number of line items, the number of cigarette cartons, the order total, and so forth. So that's a new change that has been added. Let's see what else is on our list. Okay, order inquiry now shows a 90-day average. So let's look at that. So that is over on the inquiry menu. So let's navigate there. So a 1, a 5, a 20, and then order inquiry. And now you'll see this new widescreen format that's added that shows the 90-day order average. And so you can see what the average order is. So you can see if you're ahead of, and it does show the difference in here. And if, if we wanted to see while we're in here, uh, show me anything that has a order value less than, let's say, $1,800. Less than. And you would see that type of thing. So could be a handy feature when you're trying to look for who is missing an average order or who, who's undershooting and just as a diagnostic tool. Let's see what else we have on our list. Um, new plain paper portrait layout for an invoice format and that will look like this. And so basically just in a plain paper format in portrait mode. That is another option that you now have. And that is uh, actually version L of the uh, for an invoice. Also, we have a daily salesman order recap that can be inserted in a uh, end of day user point to run. Uh, it creates a separate spool entry for each salesperson with orders for that day, and that format looks like this. So you can see here's 
an example for this one particular salesperson. Uh, their, and it does show their average order, so it shows their order for the day, their average, and so forth. Uh, there's a plus or minus. I actually have chopped that off. Um, I actually, well, actually, it's just a value. It shows they're below, so you can see that doesn't show the difference, but it does show the column in there. So that's a new format that uh, we can insert in the end of day for you to run if that is attractive to you, the notion to that. Uh, the ability to calculate retail pricing before surcharging and discounting. So um, if you're surcharging or discounting, you may want to uh, have the retail price calculated before that. And so that is a system option. I won't take the time to go show that to you, but basically it's, uh, it's under system options and it's a performance option that you can find in there. Order entry will now display red if the price is below base cost. So let's take a peek at that. Jump back over to the main menu. So if we go into order entry, maybe I'll look down here at one of these orders. You'll notice also there's a new widescreen format for order entry. I don't see anything in here. So let's force something to be below base cost. So I'm going to override here. And let's see, the base cost is 53 cents on this particular item. So I'm going to say the override price is now 50 cents instead of 72 cents. And you'll see that indication is shown here. Uh, the widescreen format does uh, space things out and uh, uh, shoot for a, a single line entry, which we have had feedback that that is a desirable function to have. And let me get out of this order so we can move along. And let's see what else we have on our list. So that's PTF uh, 11161. Extended order entry now. This is the final thing on this particular presentation. So let's look at that. So the um, F16 advanced search function, which is available in several places in the system. You'll see the little question marks. I'm going to press F16, which is a shift F4 function key. And now you can search for a certain PO number. If you're searching for that, you want to know what invoice actually had that on there. Uh, you can do that. That also functions in the uh, work with order history, which is probably a more common usage for that. So those are a, a few things about what's new in DAC for this segment. Um, Stay tuned. We have more coming up. Thank you.